The invention of polyurethane skateboard wheels in the early 1970s suddenly made jumps and tight cornering possible because these wheels had a better grip on riding surfaces than the old metal or ceramic wheels. They were more durable and the shock absorption was greatly improved. Skateboard wheels come in different sizes, hardness, colors, and graphic designs. For the rider, there are many practical and aesthetic considerations. Making skateboard wheels starts with a computer design. A designer uses the software to guide cutting tools. The tools carve into a solid aluminum puck and transform it into one half of a wheel mold. Next, the other half of the mold takes shape as the computerized tooling sculpts another puck to a profile that fits to the first one perfectly. Not all of the skateboard wheel molds are two-part versions. Others are one-piece structures, each with a pin in the center to form a bearing cavity. A nozzle dispenses freshly mixed polyurethane liquid into the wheel molds. The liquid starts to solidify immediately. To complete the process, a worker loads the polyurethane-filled molds into an oven and bakes them at almost 240 degrees Fahrenheit for 40 minutes. During baking, any bubbles in the polyurethane rise to the top and are diffused, leaving solid forms with no weak spots. Workers remove the pins from the molds. Then it's on to the next station. Here, a worker blasts compressed air between the wheels and the molds to pry the wheels free and pop them out. Another worker probes the wheel using a durometer gauge to ensure the urethane has cured to the right degree of hardness. If the sample wheel is sufficiently hard, the batch is ready for the next step. The worker clamps the skateboard wheel in a lathe. The lathe spins the wheel while an automatic cutter contours the edges to a softer, more rounded profile. To give the skateboard wheels some visual impact, an artist selects and arranges graphic designs on a computer. He prints a film negative of the images he's chosen. A worker will use this negative to produce a printing plate from a piece of metal that's been coated with a light-sensitive substance known as emulsion. He places the film negative on the plate inside a UV light chamber. He closes the lid and activates the UV light. This triggers a photochemical reaction that transfers the image from the negative to the plate. The worker then applies a solution that removes unexposed emulsion and in the process etches the image into the printing plate. He rinses off the chemicals. Next, he dries the plate to reveal the etched artwork. Another worker positions a magnetized ink cup over the image and installs it in a pad printing machine. An operator loads skateboard wheels onto posts that index them forward for printing. The ink cup deposits ink on the printing plate. A silicone pad picks up the inked image and stamps it onto the skateboard wheel. The operator removes the printed wheel and sets it on a tray. A technician now clamps one of the wheels in a testing device, which will gauge the rebound. He drops a metal ball onto the wheel and measures how high it bounces or rebounds. A high rebound is desirable. These skateboard wheels are now cleared for shipping. A worker wraps the wheels in plastic and heat shrinks it. It takes about three days to make these skateboard wheels. But how long they'll last depends a lot on the rider and how he or she rolls.